I'm Brian Vann from SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Arctiva Comp 7 RR shell jacket. Essentially what we have here is we have the Comp 7 jacket with the insulation removed. Okay, this is going to be designed for racing. Okay, like when I snowcrossed race, this is what we'd wear. There's no insulation, you just have the outer shell. It can also be used for riding where it's going to be really aggressive, the temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer, and you don't need all that insulation. The outer shell is 100% waterproof, and it is also breathable, which is really key. What that means is no water comes in, but the perspiration that leaves your body as a gas is able to escape, and it just helps keep you comfortable and cool. You're able to enhance that effect if you add some moisture wicking base layering. We have some examples here from Cycle Skins, Arteva has their own line, Alpen Stars. You look at some of that performance base layering, I know the prices seem, man, that's a lot of money for something like that. They last a long time, and I have to tell you, they're highly effective, and it really just changes the whole game. It keeps you more cool, comfortable, dry. It just makes for a better ride and a better day. Let's talk about sizing. I'm wearing a size large right now in the Comp 7 RR shell jacket. 5 feet 11, 200 pounds, somewhat athletic build, and underneath I have on my old tech vest. And this is something that you would wear for snowcross racing, it's required. It's also a great idea to wear stuff like this on the trail, especially if you're the kind of rider that's going to buy an outfit like this. You're out there, you're riding the machine hard, and we all know things happen. We've got a lot of different armor solutions here from tech vest, from Knox, there's stuff from Alpine Stars. These things work for snowmobiling, for skiing, motorcycle riding. So for those of us that are involved in activities like this, you know, armor purchases like that, they'll go from one discipline to the next. So you can get a lot of use out of it. And I gotta tell you, they can make a tremendous difference in what could be a crash where your buddies are all laughing at you and you get up and you're fine, to where a crash, you damage something, you can't go to work for a week, it can really make a difference and it's worth the investment. Let's talk a little bit more now about this. For a rider that wants to use this in temperatures that are even a little bit colder, you can still pull that off with base layering. Okay, You're able to add insulated layers below this and get really close to the same effect as you would get from their Comp 7 insulated jacket. Okay, But you have a lot of flexibility because you can remove all that layering. Okay, so this isn't only for a racer or only for a rider way out west. I mean, you could use this even in the flatlands, Michigan, Wisconsin, different places, as long as your, your battle plan is to really base layer the thing according to the riding that you're going to be doing. Reflectives. Basically, at 360 degrees, we have reflectives available. You're out riding at night, headlights hit it, it pops, keeps you visible, keeps you safe. Got a storage pocket here, left arm, ventilation system, shoulder intake vents, underarm style vents, there's an exhaust vent. This really helps to work in conjunction with the base layering as well as the moisture management properties of this fabric. Okay, When you really start to overheat, you open the vents. The air comes in the front, circulates around, grabs the heat, grabs the moisture, gets it out, keeps you cool, keeps you comfortable. The base layer has a humongous impact on how effective that's going to be. You need to know that going in. If you're wearing just a normal t-shirt, it's not going to work at the same level that it could with a base layer. We've got some internal storage pockets here on both sides. We've got a nice fleece lined collar where it touches your skin, very comfortable. Fleece lining right here as well. You're able to adjust this to determine if you want to wear a gauntlet style glove over or a short race style glove underneath. We have a nice knitted cup inside to seal this from the wind to keep you cool and comfortable. You notice with the shell, it also comes with the removable race number plate from the back. Okay, if you're not racing, you don't need to leave that on there. Stay tuned. We're going to get the jacket shell off and just give you a high level look at the specific details. Alright, here we go with the Arctiva Comp 7 RR shell jacket from the inside out. Remember, when we talked about this before, 
Yeah, it's kind of a race shell, but it really has a lot more uses than that. And you can base layer this thing and use it just like you would the Comp 7 insulated, right? If you choose to do so, and it'll give you the flexibility to go all the way down to just the race shell, which is really nice for spring style conditions, riding out west, things like that. So there's more versatility here than meets the eye, I think. If you just look at it really quickly, it might be like, oh, this is, there's no insulation, what am I going to do with that? It's simple. You add your own, and that gives you the ability to take it away whenever you choose to do so. Let's break this thing down now. Zippered ventilation from the outside. Shoulder vent intake. We've got a double zip intake vent here, right? It kind of comes down from the side of the jacket all the way into the chest. You can decide how you want this ventilated. Say you only want chest ventilation. Do it like that. Remember, this is a waterproof zip now. Say you only want a little bit of exhaust here at the side of the jacket. Zip it up from that direction so they allow you to tune it to what best suits your needs at that point in time. Storage pocket here, waterproof zip, left sleeve. Reflective here in the sleeve. Velcro cuff adjuster. You've got the double cuff system. This really works to keep you warm, kind of block the wind in this area. Nice knitted cuff right there. Fleece, rolled fleece where it touches your skin, keeps it good and comfortable. What I like about this too is this pleats up very nicely here at that reflective area. So if you do choose to wear a gauntlet glove, it's easy to get it over the top. With this shell, you can easily wear a short glove or a gauntlet without any issues. Come to the front of the jacket. Reflective up here in the shoulder. Reflective down here kind of in the abdomen area. Zippered storage pockets, both left and right of the jacket. These are fleece-lined hand warmer style, so you can use it for a hand warmer or a storage pocket. The logos that you see are fabric overlays with embroidery around the outside. Nice fleece line collar. It's rolled here at the top of the fabric. Very comfortable. Tether attachment point. Right? This is going to be great. Race sleds all have tethers. Um, I know, for example, Skidoo, like my MXZX, it has a tether that you use as the key. It's a great place to attach it so you don't lose it. Reflective over the elbow. A little bit of padding in this area. Some quilting. Our Tiva logo. Come to the back of the jacket. Even the non-race color is going to come with the removable race number sheet, okay? Remember, if you're racing, typically you have to have the international orange, right? You have to have X amount of it. They do have that colorway, so if you're racing Snowcross, any of that stuff, and your organization requires that, which they basically all do, okay? There is that option. You can also choose to wear your Tech Fest over the top, which has enough international orange in it, and that'll pass as well. Okay, so we have several colorways in this. One of the colorways is the orange, and it is specifically geared towards the racer that's going to wear that shell over the top of their Tech Fest. This is removable, so if you're going to ride this on the trail, you don't have to put this on there. Exhaust vent, back of the jacket, it's a double zip. This is really critical. You have to have a place for the air that you introduce in the front to go. You open the front vents, circulates around, grabs the heat, grabs the moisture, fires it right out the back of the jacket. If you're wearing a base layer that's moisture wicking, it really enhances the process and it can make your day a ton better. Reflectives, both sides of the shoulders, down here on the back to maintain visibility, which is very important. Come inside the jacket. There is a large zipper that gives you access to this back panel. That's for embroidery work if you're going to have this thing tuned up a little bit or for racing with some sponsor logos, your name, number, any of that stuff. That's what this is here for. And then you can put that plastic cover over the top of it to protect it. They give you that access. It makes it really easy on the person that's going to work on it. And trust me when I tell you, they're really going to appreciate it. You can also see here all the sealed seams that make this garment waterproof. Fleece line collar for comfort, rolled. Zippered storage here, left breast. We've got a pass through for cables. Zippered storage pocket here, right breast. We also have an attachment point. This is gonna work with 
the Comp 7 pants. There's loops in the pants. You undo the snaps, pass these through. Notice elastic so it moves with you. It's a very athletic thing when you're riding aggressively. This allows that to move so it doesn't tear the garment up. Shock cord adjuster here for the waist. To tighten this up and get a nice seal around the waist. All in all, what do we think? This is a great garment. There's a lot more flexibility here than meets the eye. It lacks the insulation. That's on purpose. There's reasons for it, and you can get around that by just adding and removing base layers to totally tailor this to your riding conditions. It's a great piece. They've done a very nice job with their entire snow line for 2012. This is the Arctiva Comp 7 RR Shell Jacket.